Hi everyone. Today we have a simple challenge on the board. Um, with a trial by error method, you get the answer straightforward. It will be five. But here I'm going to use two different approach to solve this challenge here now. Okay? So let's go without much waste of time. So we take our selection here. All right. The question is x to the power of five equal to five to the power of x. So the first approach I'm going to use here is very easy. So here we have x to the power of five equal to five to the power of x. Now let's take a look at the two exponents. We have here five and here we have x. Okay, so I will find the product of the two exponents. The product of the two exponents here is a five x. So I want to divide both sides of the exponent by five x. Okay, so this will now give us here x to the power of five all over 5x equal to 5 to the power of x all over 5x. Okay, remember I said the product of the two exponents. You divide the exponent of each by that. So if you do that, this will leave the system and this, this will leave the system. So we are now left with x to the power of 1 all over x equal to 5 to the power of 1 all over 5. Now remember, we have, if we have your x to the power of 1 all over x equal to y to the power of 1 all over y, this terms means that x is equal to y. Okay? So with this, it is easy. So we can say, therefore, our x is equal to 5. Very easy. Okay? Now, what is the second approach I'm going to use now? The second approach is easy. I want to start by taking the natural log of both sides. So let's ln both sides of it and see what this gives us. Okay? So the question again, we have x to the power of 5 equal to 5 to the power of x. So we want to start by ln both sides of the equation. So this will give us ln of x to the power of 5. This equals to ln of 5 to the power of x. Move this to this side and move this to this side according to the law of logarithm. So we have here 5 ln of x is equal to x ln of um, 5. Okay, so what do we do here? I want to divide through by x. And at the same time, I want to divide through by 5. So that means I want to divide by 5x. Here we have 5x. Okay, so this, this will leave the system. This, this will leave the system. So we're left with x all over, x here, equal to ln of 5 all over 5. Okay, so again, from here, I can rewrite the denominators here now. Okay, so if I have here x all over, ln of x there all over e to the power of ln of x, this is equals to ln of 5 all over our e to the power of ln of 5. Okay, so from here, I want to remove this division sign by moving this up and moving this up. So we have this to be ln of x times our e to the power of minus ln of x equal to we have here ln of 5 dot our e to the power of minus ln of 5. Okay. So what we do here, it is easy. Look at here, here we have the ln of x. Here we have ln of x, but here we are having a minus sign. Here we have ln of 5, here we have ln of 5. We also have a minus sign. So for us to apply the lambda w function, then the exponent here must be equal to the base here. Same thing here, okay? Because the left-hand side and the right-hand side are kind of appropriate for us to apply the lambda w function, okay? So from here, we multiply through by minus 1. So this will now give us minus ln of x dot e to the power of minus ln of x equal to minus ln of 5 dot e to the power of minus ln of 5. 
So what do we have at the base here? Same thing we have at the exponent. What do we have at the base here? Same thing we have at the exponent. So we can apply our lambda w function. So let's continue on this side here. Remember our lambda w function. It says that if you have um, a star, okay, times your e to the power of a star, and we apply the lambda w function, this will give us what? A star, right? Okay, so from here, if we apply that here, we're going to have here the lambda w function of bracket minus ln of x dot e to the power of minus ln of x plus bracket equal to the lambda w function of bracket minus um, ln of 5 dot e to the power of minus ln of 5 plus bracket. So this will give us automatically minus ln of x equal to we have minus ln of 5. Okay, so this, this will leave the system. We now have ln of x is equal to ln of 5. The reasonable side to our e, so we take our e to the power of ln of x. This is equal to e to the power of ln of 5. Of course, this, this will leave, this, this will leave the system. So we're left with x is equal to 5. So we have our x equal to 5, like we had here. All right, so let's take a look at the second question. How we can use the first approach to get the answer straightforward. Yeah, the question is x to the power of 8 equal to 16 to the power of x. The exponent here, we have 8 and x. So we multiply the two exponents to give us 8x. So from here, we're going to divide each of the exponents by 8x. So this will now give us x to the power of 8 all over 8x equal to 16 to the power of x all over 8x. Of course, this we cancel out this and this x will go with x. So we are now left with x to the power of 1 all over x. This is equal to 16 to the power of 1 all over 8. But the problem or the challenge we have here is that this is not 8. Okay, here we have 8 at the denominator, but here we have 16. So we think of rewriting 16. 16 can be written as 4 to the power of 2. So we rewrite this base here. So we have here x to the power of 1 all over x is equal to 4 to the power of 2 or to the power of 1 all over 8. Now, according to the law of indices, we say that if you have your m to the power of a or to the power of b, this is equal to your m to the power of a, b. Okay? So if we multiply the exponent, this exponent will give us this here. So we can do that here. So this will now give us x to the power of 1 all over x. This is equal to 4 to the power of 2 times 1 all over 8. This is all over 1. So 2 here will give us 4. 2 here will give us 1. So we end up having x to the power of 1 all over x is equal to your 4 to the power of 1 all over 4. So again, we apply our rule because here we are having x to the power of 1 all over x and we have here 4 to the power of 1 all over 4. Then it also means that x is equal to 4. So from here we have this to be therefore our x is equal to 4. Okay. And if you put this value into our original equation, then you will get the equation satisfied. All right, so thank you for being there. This is all I have for you for today. Bye for now.